Let's get into the first main topic. And it's brought to you by the one and only Amy Newman. She helped me out with a voiceover. So she's not here with us this week, but she was still able to contribute. So let me do that for you guys real quick. First topic of the week. There we go. It's, it's a little bit about The Flash. Check it out. From Screen Rant, fans get their best look yet at Sasha Calle's full Supergirl suit in new set images for The Flash. Ezra Miller first made their DCEU debut as Barry Allen in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, and Miller will take center stage in The Flash, but the inclusion of several big-name DC heroes has inspired a great deal of excitement among fans. For one thing, the project will include two Batmans, Ben Affleck's and Michael Keaton's. The Flash will also serve as the introduction for the DCEU Supergirl. Newcomer Sasha Kaye will take to the skies for the film, and her costume has been revealed through various official teases and set videos. So what do you think about Sasha in costume as Supergirl? Leave your comments right here in the box below, and we'll talk about it on an upcoming We Got Your Mail. Before the last uh, stream, and uh, Soup says, I don't like the red part. Uh, uh, he said, oh, he's already, <laughs> he's already hating on it. I don't like the red part. Uh, of the suit. What do you guys think uh, about those photos that came out for the uh, the Flash movie? Any, any comments? Uh, let's start with Lady First. Like, what do you think, Ariana? What do you think about those photos? I actually, I don't really like the suit that much either, and I feel like the the built-in abs are a little much. I I don't. The, it's just I I I can't get behind the design. I can't. I'm trying. And don't and and sometimes I, now got you guys in the live chat. Let me know if, if you do see it. Usually that we we through the Zoom chat will see glitching, but sometimes they don't see it. So if you see it here, ignore it. Sometimes they don't see it. So if we if we focus on that, it'll just distract us. But if oh. you guys do see glitching, let me know that, and we'll blame that on Al too. But no, I, I, I'm with you uh, on that. Uh, I heard that people were talking about the, the abs thing too. I heard that that was just be, mostly because of the, the kind of suit she was wearing for that scene, that flying scene, that, that rig that she was attached to, that the actual mm. walking around and just being or, you know, her normal Supergirl self, that suit would be different. I, I heard that this one was extra bulky for what they were trying to do or okay. needed to do. So maybe, maybe not, or maybe she's just gonna be that ripped. <laughs> Al, what, what, what do you think, Al? What do you, what do you think about this MMA uh, Supergirl we got? <laughs> um, it doesn't look bad to me. I'm looking at it now too. Mm. I mean, I, I do agree with Ariana though. The abs. I'm hoping that that maybe that's part of a harness, something like that, and they green screen that out because like that doesn't look natural. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, but I, I, don't think I have some Instagram photos of some bodybuilders that would that would change your mind. That would change our mind. I don't. I don't think it looks bad. I mean, I have heard some people say that it's almost it's reminiscent of Spidey's suit, mm -hmm. and they don't they don't really like that aspect of it. But I, I think it looks all right. I mean, it is technically comic book accurate. There is a new version of uh, of, a, of a Supergirl comic book. Um, whether it was, I think that was what was it Kara Lane. Zora, uh, or L or something like that. This is the that would be the daughter. Now that's the whole question. Is this a future Supergirl, like the, the the daughter of Henry Cavill, Superman, because obviously this is going to be this is linked. Looking at that suit, it's linked to Henry Cavill, and it's giving me some feels. I'm hoping that they're still teasing that someday he'll come back. But <laughs> I, I, I might be hoping. But what do you guys think? Is it more likely that this is an alternative Earth and she's she is Supergirl, the cousin, and she's just uh, she just looks different, or is she the daughter of Superman, or how about? Uh, Follow me here. A lot of people didn't get this comic book, but when Man of Steel first came out, there was a comic book that was linked to the movie. When Superman first went into the Fortress of Solitude, he saw that some pods had dead Kryptonian bodies yeah. in it, but one pod was open, and it yeah. was supposed to be Supergirl that's been on this planet for thousands or millions, whatever years. Do you think yeah. which which Supergirl do you think is most likely to be, Ariana? What do you, what do you think about that that theory? I think I'm thinking the last one that I haven't given. Um, which Supergirl I think it would be, but you convinced me with the last one. It didn't what, take I, much. what I think is interesting here will will be, and I don't want to take us off on a rabbit trail, so bring me back if I do, but what I think it'll be interesting is, is to see how, I call them the purist, mm -hmm. the comic book purist will respond 
to stuff like this because folk likes to get they like to get angry if things are not lock step and barrel right with you know with the source material so we'll see uh I'm hope I'm thinking it might be an alter if if this scene is because you got look right there you got um, Barry Allen out there in the suit you got Supergirl out there and you got Bruce Wayne you got Michael Keaton's feature I'm thinking this might be an alternative an alternative Earth and Batman is older and Superman had a kid maybe maybe they all say that that uh, it's I don't know <laughs> I don't know where I'm landing on I'm, I'm every day I'm probably gonna jump around. Because but Michael Keaton there, technically, that is a little bit of a link to Christopher Reeves because they were planning on doing a tie-in between that Superman and that and that Batman on paper. They were talking about it a lot. But with you know, obviously with them changing the, uh, the actors so many times, I'm thinking they'll they'll maybe they'll say a team recall. I don't know. I'm thinking this is the future. This is an alternative earth and it's the future. I think he time traveled and I think he went to another dimension. <laughs> I don't know. So I, I'm, I don't know. I'm excited for it, though. I, I'm, I love the fact that the suit looks very similar to Henry Cavill's. The S looks the same. And I'm just hoping that this opens the door and people will go. Uh, and then Warner Brothers will say, Man of Steel 2, we're, we're going to bring it to you guys. Um, and and if, you hate, if you're a hater of the abs, then you just, you just hate. OK, how many stomach crunches can you do? Carry on. OK. <laughs> All right. I mean, like you want to just put you on the spot like that. How about that? How about that? But guys, let us know what. Oh you, my god. <laughs> but let us know what you guys think about the suit. Do you are you a fan of the red? Are you a fan of the blue? Is it too spidey-ish for you? Is it is it like what's going on right here with, with my shirt? I love it. I dig it. I I, I think it's uh, it looks great. I'm I'm just glad that we're not talking about her hair anymore. And she's not blonde. I'm, I was kind of getting sick of that. But guys, put it in the box below. Let us know what you guys think, and maybe we'll talk about it in the upcoming We Got You Now. Our supporters help make all this content possible, so make sure you check out our Patreon page so you can help us bring you the content you want. Push the pedal to the freaking metal. I'm turned up just like heavy metal. Yo. up on another level push the pedal to the freaking metal i turned up just like heavy metal Black.